uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, first of all, I would like to. Can you hear me? Oh, okay. Uh, first of all, I would like to thanks uh, to uh, Global Solar Council for ha having me here. Um, I would like to take this opportunity to share some information of uh, solar PV industry uh, in Malaysia uh, over the COVID-19 pandemic period. So I would like to thanks for all the participants, take a patient and still with me. Uh, before I start, let me introduce uh, our association, MPIA. MPIA is the Malaysia Photovoltaic Industry Association, and here is all our member. We basically we represent the solar industry in Malaysia, and um, we have about hundred nineteen uh, full member and honorary member. We have three honorary member. Uh, let me um, another one is a co okay. Let me start my topic the impact of COVID-19 uh, in Malaysia for PV industry. Uh, just a short um, introduction of um, the lockdown in Malaysia and also we call it movement control order phases. There's a three phases. First phase is basically uh, from 18 March until uh, 4th of uh, May. We call it MCO, uh, movement control order. And uh, second phases, we call it um, conditional movement control order, CMCO, which is from the 4th of May until 10th of June. And then after June, uh, after 10th of June, we call it recovery movement control, uh, movement control order, uh, we call it RMCO. This RMCO will be extended until the end of this uh, year. Okay, for MCO, for MCO, we um, basically is no business activity except essential service is allowed to operate only. So only essential industry that they need to apply and the government will give them a permit uh, uh, for them to operate their business. The less of uh, business, everybody have to stay at home. And then uh, for CMCO period, uh, uh, most business is uh, conduct their most uh, business they conduct their business and only uh, accept some other like construction uh, uh, site some of them because of they need to do the, the screen test and some of the uh, construction company they choose not to start the operation uh, whoever want to start the operation all the business have to follow a strict SOP and uh, for RMCO, basically, as now, is everything as usual, but we, have, we still have to continue uh, to follow the SOP and uh, keep a social distancing. And um, let me stop. Okay. So other updates is like, even until now, we are generally, generally Malaysia are still remain close. Uh, uh, we, we close down the border and we are only allowed uh, some traveling. But uh, those who travel to Malaysia, you have to, to quarantine for 14 days. And then, uh, uh, but during this period, government also, uh, we have some um, help, government aids for business. So government will pay some um, subsidy for employee with earning less than 4,000. So the government will, will pay them some uh, uh, subsidy. And um, we have a six month of uh, a moratorium on the loan repayment, uh, repayment, which is to help to ease the cash flow of uh, business uh, uh, cash flow in Malaysia. Okay. For solar PV industry, um, we with government is um, uh, introducing a stimulus package for the LSS uh, last skill solar. We call it LSS four, and uh, this one is announcing during the CMCO period. This is uh, is this project is announced in uh, 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 May, and uh, just tender just closed. Yesterday, that's why today I'm look very tired because uh, already spent few days to 
to to get the tender uh, document to be compiled together with my team. So this pro for the LSS4 is a uh, 1000 megawatt compared to a uh, 500 megawatt for the LSS1 and LSS2 and LSS3. So LSS4 we have got 1000 megawatt which is 1 gigawatt and what is the difference between the LSS1, 2, 3 and the current LSS4? LSS4 for this one because we call it economy stimulus package that's why 100% uh, must be a local, it's only 100% local participant. So meaning that uh, investor also uh, is, must be a local and even EPC also must be from, uh, it's a local EPC company only can participate. So the process for LS1, 2, 3, uh, last time we, it took six months for submission and evaluation also six months. But uh, for LSS4, the uh, process to be as we did to uh, three months, uh, evaluation for submission also we take only three months and evaluation also three months. Uh, capacity, so which is from 500 to 1000. And then also to share with all of you, Malaysia uh, rooftop opportunity. Um, despite the, this uh, COVID-19, uh, uh, pandemic. For solar rooftop takeout rate this year is uh, more than last year and it might be a double or triple of last year for solar rooftop. Uh, we should expect the, the quota, mean that the quota for the NEM to be uh, even not finished, probably will be close to five because the total uh, quota is 500 megawatt and up to today is 200 we still left uh, 200 over megawatt but we expect to finish this one by end of this year and we also um, waiting uh, good news from a uh, government for any extension of the NEM uh, we should expect there will be an extension of uh, NEM but we not really sure that how is the import and export rate for all your information, NEM in Malaysia, net energy metering in Malaysia, the import and export tariff is the same. Uh, but if there's an extension, I'm not so sure whether, whether the import and export tariff will be the same. And um, rooftop, solar rooftop potential in uh, Malaysia, we have uh, over, this is the research that uh, carry on and it show that we have more than 40 which is lovely about 42 megawatt of uh, uh, 42,000 megawatt of uh, potential uh, uh, rooftop PV in Malaysia. And currently, if I'm not wrong, our total installation for rooftop is still less than 500 megawatt. Uh, it should be able to achieve more than 500 megawatt by next year. And during this period, uh, we, our Malaysia solar uh, roof show, uh, um, uh, because of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, so this one also be delayed and postponed and uh, supposed to be start during March and now we postpone it to uh, uh, 9 of September. And this is to promote the, is to get the public awareness of uh, this uh, solar PV for their rooftop. Uh, especially. So that's all for my uh, sharing for this uh, Malaysia PV solar industry activity in Malaysia during this COVID-19 pandemic. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chin. So